Okay, so I am using medium solder, the sweat solder, a bezel onto this ring band. I'm gonna try it because last time I did it, it didn't quite work the way I wanted to with the uh, ring cross cuts, tweezers. Um, I that with the, my new tie quad with the new ring attachment. Get yours at liarpunchboard.com. You know the drill. I'm gonna put a tiny bit of flip right where I need it. way too much like I can't even get it all on the screen okay so this is my first experience with the tie quad I'm super pumped about it there we go get that flux nice and clear and then I'm gonna start setting some spatter Did you guys know that if your solderite board gets too sticky with flux, your pick will have a hard time picking up your solder. I did not know that. But. Okay, last little piece of solder. I will clean it up. I just want to make sure there's enough on there to hold my bezel. All right, now I'm gonna go from underneath. I've never had anything where I could heat it like this and that is super exciting for me. I just want the solder to do exactly what it just did. Try to spread it out a little bit, there we go. All right, so I'm going to <clears throat> quench and pickle that. Then I'm gonna sand a little bit off of the top so that the solder will really flow. I've heard that's a great thing, but look how awesome my ring looks. I can't wait to see what happens. I think I will have a lot less problems with this um, and fire stain than I'm used to. And I have the other topper too. And I can't wait to use all of them. Thank you so much, Chris, you're amazing. And my baby's calling for me, so I gotta go. I'll be right back. I'm gonna start with heating the bottom of the ring. So that hopefully my bezel doesn't move. Okay. Doesn't look like it's moving. It's tricky to hmm. See when it's flowing, I guess. So that's gonna be. Oh, there it goes. It's about to flow and it flows. I think. I'm gonna do some over here just to make sure. I do. Let's see. Oh, look, those titanium pretty blues are coming through. Oh, yeah. I think it really flowed all the way through. <gasps> I did it. Can I check this one last side? Oh, I did it! Oh, that's so amazing! Oh, I'm gonna cry! So here I've already swept some solder onto the back of the butterflies and I am going to attach them to the ring. Once they're both attached, I'm going to take my half round of flat pliers to push the butterflies down on the very bottom and then I'm gonna flow it again to get it all done. This actually went really, really fast. Um, and the butterflies did not move. <laughs> I'm struggling there. Uh, the butterflies did not move um, at all. This is like the perfect little setup for doing those little side embellishments. And I can only imagine what else we can do with this shape alone. Here, I'm going to put the butterflies down with my half round of flat pliers, add some flux, and flow everything 
the whole process only took, uh, I don't know, like 15, 20 minutes with pickling and all of that. Um, so much faster than the last time and the ring turned out so good. Here we are. We are going to set this beautiful opal. I am going to be a good girl this time and um, not touch the hammer handpiece. I'm going to stick that down in there. Tighten it up just a tiny bit because there's no need for anything more than that. And then I'm going to take the brass pusher that I got from Chris. Let me punch a hole real quick. I'm gonna point this away from me, so. Um. So I'm gonna take the 30. There we go. See, now look at that. I think you can see. Oh, I'm not even pointing it. Anyway, that's so much better. Yeah, I like that. I'm gonna take the 15 to it too. Oh, that's good. Okay. See? Nice and shiny. So. I'm gonna fast forward through this next part so it goes a little faster. And here is how it turned out. Um, it's really beautiful and it's now on its way to my customer. If you got value from this video, please like and subscribe for more. Don't forget to hit that bell notification so you can be notified of all of my new uploads. Um, and if you have any questions, drop them in the comments section or hit me up on Instagram. Thank you.